Okay, you can kind of see what I did here this time. Um, I made an extra wide path and I made some dirt surrounding it so that if I were to go too far because of the controls, um, it's kind of there to prevent me from screwing. There is no time, so I figure I might as well do that because it's a lot easier than having to restart a level like this hundred billion times. Yeah, so I'm making progress, uh, despite being tired <laughs> from a late night at work. i got three chips left now, and I'm still searching for, um, I can see the last chip, the third chip there. So I still have two more to find after that, and the yellow key, and I've just discovered a red button which presses something <laughs> um, and it's going pretty well these levels are long tedious not tedious tedious is a third word oh another block clone um, and there's another chip in the row right above this so I have to do that row so I put the block there so I can use it as a guide for where to stop uh, so I don't screw and it's very helpful <laughs> um, for the sake of things I'm just going to fill that one in I don't know why <laughs> I just feel like it um, <laughs> yeah things are going good <laughs> I haven't mentioned before, I take care of five kids, four of whom were born at the same time, they are quadruplets, they are in fifth grade now, and um, the other one is in sixth grade, so they're much older now, it's a lot easier than when they were babies, but in some ways it's a lot harder too, because they have a million places to be. Well, not necessarily a million. Mostly gymnastics and dance, but... Anyways. Okay, I discovered something. See this? I kept thinking I was screwed if I pushed it back on to this tile. Because I couldn't... If I pushed that, I was blocked up and I couldn't get anywhere. But I discovered... Hello! <laughs> I can push it back. And also, if I had done that... Um, I could, and I hadn't had this here yet, I could have just pushed it here, because then when I went around here and pushed the button, the block wouldn't have been able to clone, because this would have been here, and I still could have pushed it out. So, I'm thinking that I died those few times in the beginning for no reason, 
because I wasn't paying attention that I wasn't totally screwed. <laughs> I just discovered that surely by accident when I thought I had screwed because I pushed the block back a few times ago and I discovered that I wasn't screwed because I could just go up the ice and fix it and I was like oh thankful and I just right after that I realized wait a minute I could have done it that way too so that's good I don't know I get in the zone on these levels so it's not like I absolutely hate them they are long but I don't really pay attention to the time once I get a rhythm going once I kind of figure out what I'm doing yay I just um get in the zone and I just I don't know bust it out I don't, I don't know, get huffed and move on as I do with some of the other level types that I absolutely love but get really mad at. <laughs> no, I don't really move on. There's not too many levels that I skip and go back to later on. Uh, currently in CCLP3, I um, have skipped... Caves? I'm still trying to remember. Is it Caves or The Caves? I have a level called Caves or The Caves or whatever. And <coughs> it keeps in my own level set. So it keeps screwing me up. One left. What do you suppose is down there? I'm going to keep creating a path to that since I was already started there. Um. So yeah. Anyways, I keep forgetting and mixing up which one is mine and which one is in CCLP3, whether it's caves or the caves, but either way, the one in CCLP3, um, and the, uh, what am I doing, level right before that one, which is with all the, uh, the monsters and everything, it's like in the forest or something, not the forest. You know, the one right before caves, whatever the name is, where you travel all around the outskirts of the level in the forest floor and you, uh, you have to, like, item swap and blow up bombs and stuff. Those two levels are really the only two, I think, that I uh, skipped entirely. And I'm going to go back to them later on. I keep trying to go back to them. Like, I'll work on some of the other levels further on in the set. And then, okay, I'm going to try again. And if I don't make it, I just move back on. And I am keep going backwards. And now and then, periodically, to eventually make the level. But for the most part, I stick to finishing the level before moving on. Uh, that was just like in the first, um, level set, though, in CC1. Oh, I didn't think about that. This is not helping me. Huh. Um, because I can't do anything with it, so I need to make a path here. Right? And then I can push it down twice. Okay. Oh, uh, crap. Except now that I've done that, I need to make the path around it because I need to get to the the um, chip sockets. Shoot. What am I doing? Uh, okay, so I need to bring another block to block me. Okay. Anyways. In the first chip's challenge... Don't think there was very many levels that I ever skipped and came back to them later on. I think Totally Unfair was one that... See, I played Chips Challenge with my dad. We went through most of the set together and uh, we completely didn't get Totally Unfair at all for a long time. It took us a while to understand what was going on in that one and that you had to follow the same moves as totally fair uh so that was definitely a level that we skipped but I'm trying to think of any other levels that we skipped on the rocks we did not skip it took a while to beat maybe we did skip it at one point 
or kept trying to beat it. I don't know. That was a long and tough one. And you just take your time. But just like with this level, which I'm sure was inspired by all the rocks. I mean, you can tell. Um, you just have to take your time so you don't make any mistakes and get it done. <laughs> trying to think. Writer's block was a really good level. Um, my dad blocked that one out uh, with a map on the yellow pad we had going. It's so cool. I have this folder with all of our notes from First Tips Challenge in it. All the, the um, stapled pieces of paper that were stapled together with all the level numbers and their passwords and coffee stains all over them from <laughs> years of use and uh, <laughs> it's just so much fun to look through that and see all the memories from childhood. It's so cool that Chip's Challenge is one of those memories that I will always have. You know how people have memories of doing things with somebody? Well, the best memory with my dad is just Chip's Challenge. <laughs> Pretty fun. Just blocking out the whole set. So, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> So it's pretty cool to go back through and look at all the levels and remember, you know, the challenges and struggles we had trying to do that. But the thing is, I love writer's block so much that I'm, uh, I do, um, latch hook rugs. I've been working on some and, uh, I bought string to make my own. I had different colors of string to make my own latch hook I, um, rug and I bought plain uh, rug plain uh, not rug but like the um, waxed square grid or whatever for me to the base for the rug and I bought a bunch of um, yarn different colors um, of yarn in chips colors uh, so that I could make my own latch hook rug of uh, writer's block level 81 it's pretty cool uh, I haven't done it yet I need to cut all the string and stuff I just haven't had time and what am I doing I already created the thing there I just need one more block so you know what I'm going to use one of these blocks since I don't need them anymore that I can't use this one, but now I can. Never mind. Um, now, don't keep pushing it. Push it down. Okay. Now, can I do... Can I just use this one to do it? Yeah, I can. No, 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 no. <clears throat> wow. O M G. <sighs> Seriously. Wow. Okay, I'm going to move on I don't do that very often but I will come back and try this level again wow 38 minutes and I died what a waste